Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 8 tricks which will help you free up storage on your iPhone. Now when it comes to freeing up storage on your iPhone, you probably think the first thing you should do is delete apps or delete photos and videos from your iPhone. Well, of course that works, but you don't want to delete any photos, you don't want to delete any of your apps. So here are 8 tricks that allow you to do that without having to delete any of your photos or apps. Let's first take a moment to thank Typecast, the sponsor for today's video. Typecast is the best option for people wanting to produce high quality content like YouTube videos, audio news, broadcasting, audiobooks, training or even gaming content. Create videos using virtual human speech which can be adjusted with things like emotion, paste, pause, tempo and pitch. Select between virtual humans which can be customized, what they are wearing, their position in video or their size on video or just select from one of the 2D characters on Typecast. Customize the background by choosing colors, choosing a green screen or even add your own image which can be resized, rotated and placed anywhere in the video. All these amazing customization features allow you to create the video content that you want with every specific thing that you need to have on the video and on the character that is speaking. Give it a try by checking the link right down below in the description of the video. Click the link and explore all the fantastic features of the technology of the future. Alright, first of all, we're starting with a very hidden setting on your iPhone, which actually can consume a lot of iPhone storage. So you go to your settings, you go under accessibility, and then you go to spoken content. Right here, we'll find a section called voices. You go here, and here we'll have all the voices that are downloaded on your device. You know that on your device, you're using Siri and you can change the Siri voice. But anytime you select a different voice, it will actually download that voice to your device. And these voices can take up like 500 megabytes or even more sometimes. Most of them will be at around 100, but there are some that will take quite a lot of space. So what we can do here, if I just scroll here, you can see we have all the different languages. I can go to English. Of course, you go to the language that you use. That's where you have your voices downloaded. And here we have Siri. If I go to Siri, you can see I'm using voice four, but I have all these voices right here, which are downloaded on the device locally. You can see this one that is not downloaded. It's around 100 megabytes. So all of these are taking probably more than 100 megabytes, each of them on my device. What you should do here is of course, delete the ones that you don't wanna use on your device. You will have the option here to re-download them anytime you need them. You can see right here, this one was 111 megabytes. And if we go here, you can see all the different voices or all the different characters that you can use with Siri all of them will have voices downloaded. So you can see we have this one that we're using, 147. This one right here we're not using, we can just go ahead and delete any one of them from here. Next up, we're talking about attachments and in this case, we're talking specifically for iMessage. Now, of course, when you get messages, you probably don't think much of it. You think they don't just use a lot of storage on your device, but they actually do. And if you have really old conversations, they will just stack up and you will have a ton of storage consumed by iMessage. Fortunately, on iOS, you can manage that very easily. You go to settings, go to general, and you go to iPhone storage, and right here, you will find a separate section for iMessage. So, Let's just find iMessage here. So here we have messages and you can see it's currently at 62 megabytes, of course, because I don't keep most of my conversations. I always delete them, but you can see what it shows here. It will show you the documents. So you will have your top conversations. You will have your photos, videos and others. So these are all the media that you have received as attachments on iMessage. So if I go to videos, you can see it shows a video that I have received here. What I can do is just go ahead and delete it from here. That way, of course, you can do with photos as well and delete a ton of storage and of course, free up a ton of storage on your device. Now, here's another really cool trick of freeing up storage on your iPhone. You know that the title says not deleting any apps, but these are actually some specific apps that you install, especially for iMessage, where you get different stickers, maybe a game or something like that. So here I have two of them. 
So you go to settings, general, iPhone storage, and here I have Pulse and Tic-Tac-Toe, which is a game that you can play on iMessage. Now, the really interesting thing about this is that once you install these apps on your device, they don't show up on the home screen of your device and you won't have actually a way to remove them. The only way to remove them from your device is by going to the iPhone storage settings. You go to one of them right here, you can see it shows how much space is taken on your device and you can delete that iMessage app directly from here so these are specific apps that can be downloaded from the app store to be used within iMessage next up is offline content now only in a case where you're maybe going somewhere where the seller coverage is very poor or you have a very limited seller data plan in any other case you should never download things locally on your device especially things that take a lot of space like maybe a movie or a podcast that's terrible that will take a ton of space on your device what i suggest you do if you have a ton of music downloaded locally to your device go ahead and go to downloaded music right here which i don't have any right now but you can go here and remove the music from your device what you can do the same thing with podcasts now podcasts of course are very large in size and they will take a lot of space so make sure you go to automatic downloads and keep them on off right here and of course if you have previously downloaded podcasts you can find them by going to the iphone storage sec section so you go right here to iphone storage and search for podcast here so when you go to podcasts if you have podcasts downloaded locally to your device they will show up up here and you can go ahead and delete them from your device so always make sure that you de delete like data that you have locally stored on your device and then we have apps that will cache files and download files on your device third-party apps like spotify for example now spotify will actually download the files there are apps that will just cache the files on your device so you can clear the caches of those apps from those app settings or if you have a thing like spotify for example you can see the app size is 137 megabytes but we have 1.7 gigs here of downloaded files now if you really don't need these files to be downloaded locally you can clear them simply by going to the settings of spotify go to storage and you can see you can remove all the downloads from here that way free up a ton of space on your device again if you have an unlimited plan of data you don't actually need to have any files stored locally on your device and things like spotify they really don't consume that much data so it's not actually worth it having those big files downloaded to your device and then of course come the browser so most people will use safari on ios some will use chrome as well so the thing you should do is make sure that you're very regularly clear the the, the data of these apps so under safari you can go to settings here and you can just go ahead and clear the history and website data from here but you will also have an option to actually do that by going to the advanced and you will have website data here and right here we'll see all the data from the other websites all the data that they have stored on your device and you can clear them one by one the same thing can be done of course from the chrome app you just go to chrome go to settings and you can clear all the data saved locally to your device another very effective way of always having more free space on your device is tweaking the camera settings of your iphone that's something i always do so you go to camera and you go to record video especially this is very very important because if you take a look at this chart right here it will show you how much storage is used per minute of video so if you shoot at 1080p 60 frames per second we have it right here 175 megabytes per minute of video well if you go all the way up to 4k 60 frames per second 400 megabytes that's like more than twice the size of a 1080p video and you're probably just shooting a video to share on your social media or just to watch it on your iphone of course you don't have a 4k screen on the iphone so that just goes to waste all that space is just right there on your device is taken up by these big videos that you cannot actually take advantage of and see them on a 4k screen and last but not least are files that you download from safari now these are very interesting because you download files and you probably use them and then forget forget about them have them stored on your device locally what you should do is head on to the settings app and go to general 
go to iPhone storage and right here we'll find a section that says on my iPhone. Go right there and it will actually show you all the files that you have stored locally on your device from Safari and of course from other apps as well. But you will have here all the files alongside with their size. You can just swipe like this to delete any of them or just tap the edit button here and you can of course just select any of them and delete them from your device. So that is it for this video guys. These are 10 tricks that will help you free up storage on your iPhone without having to delete any of your apps or your photos and videos. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next video.